As we enter May and with a very busy seven months ahead, I wanted to provide you with a snapshot on how we are tracking across the region and paint a very real picture for you all as to what the future looks like, what is expected of you and your teams, and how we can ensure that our future remains as bright as it should be. So far this year, we have experienced the highs and lows, which is not too dissimilar to the challenges being experienced across our industry, along with the broader economy in Australia and New Zealand. First and foremost, our business remains strong with positive year-on-year growth, despite some headwinds on existing revenues. This means we must constantly evolve and push into new areas of business to maximise client ROI, which will in turn feed our growth. Longer term sustainable growth must be a key focus for us as the economies in Australia and New Zealand continue to grow, providing us all with plenty of opportunities. New technologies, new ways of thinking, new ways of working together with ever increasing opportunity to collaborate on new DAN initiatives globally and locally means that we have never been in a better position to win and win well. Globalisation is crucial to our survival as an industry. Technology is affording businesses the opportunity to process information even faster, something that we need to continue to invest in to ensure relevance through group talent initiatives, business expansion and M&A strategies. Scale is also critical to our success. Our clients are scaling to mitigate the cost of complexity. Our clients will continue to source globally in highly skilled markets, so therefore we need to evolve, innovate and create solutions that are not only best practice locally, but also world leaders. This is why it is critical that we devise new ways of creating platforms at scale that offer our clients the opportunity to navigate the complexity of change and provide solutions that generate positive brand experiences and immediate, accurate, impressive return on investment. To appreciate the benefits of scale, globalisation and technology, we must have a clear understanding of the economic landscape that we are navigating. A landscape that is constantly changing and evolving. Core to this is an e-commerce data-driven explosion that is about to occur. Digital is growing at more than 30% every year with video, mobile, social and display all demonstrating growth rates that will continue to dominate over the next three years, in line with our global vision of being 100% digitally capable by 2020. Revolutionary change in media is here. E-commerce will continue to grow at more than 50% a year with technology driving media into new conversions. CRM will continue to grow at the same rate, which will see more than a billion dollars spent in Australia and New Zealand in 2018. The key linkages to making this work is also to understand and for us to be able to develop common content across common devices. Something our group is very experienced at and in my view is better positioned than any other global network to deliver in our region. We are leaders, we must continue to act like leaders, progress like leaders and constantly challenge ourselves to do better, think better and drive better outcomes for our clients. One of the big key learnings we need to look at in the market right now is that globally scaled media companies are creating a value chain that takes our social media interactions and maximises it through vertical integration. This is creating a wall of money driving convergence and consumer demand in the connected economy. This growth is causing agency groups to understand the market and execute services that are aligned to the new media economy. Therefore, to remain relevant, we must advise, create and execute in real time in a highly complex data-driven ecosystem. This is where our operating model is a key point of difference in the market. We must embrace this and deliver this to our clients. Managing the scale of capability is crucial and you can only do this by having agility in the way that we operate and the culture that we have in place. This requires a real focus on client value, product and delivery in a way that sets us apart from our competitors. Culture is driven by a shared set of vision and values. The leverage of our assets together with culture will create the difference between survival and success, a critical point to our future. We must drive to success. There are a number of questions that we as custodians of our client spend should ask ourselves. Are we leveraging our capability and talent to deliver clear value in real time? Is your data capture and usage world class, best practice, cutting edge? What is your view on addressable content? Do you know enough about it? If not, why? Innovation. What have you done that's innovative? To challenge the status quo, to stand out from the crowd and deliver something great to a client. These are questions I ask myself every day and questions that are relevant to us, irrespective of our role and position within our group. 
There is plenty to do to make 2017 your own, drive change, deliver outstanding results to our clients and produce something remarkable. Nothing is out of scope. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As always, if you have any questions or feel that you are not provided with the opportunity to perform in a way that allows you to reach your full potential, I encourage you to speak to your manager or contact one of the executive leadership team. Thanks again for watching and have a great week.